again, he never led, um, and they got out. They really exploded out of the box in that, that first period. Abercrombie's three straight three sort of setting the tone. Got out to as much as 25. The guys hung in there, chipped away, got it down to within six points. Never led at any stage, but um, the fight was certainly good. But uh, ultimately, I guess you could say turnovers, offensive rebounds, and some poor decision making probably told the tale in the end. That's it. <laughs> yeah, look, um, uh, whatever the, the, you know, you look, both teams had adverse circumstance with their roster. Like, you've got to give credit to um, their team as far as their mindset, how they attacked the game. They came out with, uh, yes, um, proud of the guys, how they we, we found a way to chip away. Um, but, and, and but both teams had adverse. We didn't have Josh, and then they had some some injuries, yeah. and had some guys that really stepped up. And I felt we were there, you know, and missed blockouts here, and and poor turnovers there. Um, but when you give up 57 points in a half, yeah. I, I don't think you deserve the win. You, you know, that's better, you beat a better defensive team than that. So as you say, you know, you, that was that was crucial. I guess the question for you, Magic, did it feel like you were kind of Chasing your tails a lot of the time, and every time you cut them in the lead, they would respond and, and you know come back. But obviously, that, that defense was, was really a problem in that first period. Yeah, I mean, full credit to New Zealand. Um, you know, they were getting it done inside and out in the first quarter. Um, I felt like you know our game plan was great. We just need to be a bit more aggressive, um, you know, with our personnel. Um, you know, even when we're in the zone, um, we're in the right spots a lot of the times, but we're just a bit soft and bit tentative so um, we really picked it up in the second half though and we were more aggressive and um, you know we played played with a lot of heart and came back um, but yeah we just, I think we just dug ourselves a big hole you know it takes a lot of a lot of energy to be able to come back from 24 down um, and you know we got it back to six and I think we had possession as well yeah so um, anything could happen at the end but yeah just a couple of crucial I guess box outs and um, and turnovers like um, Damien was saying hurt us. Did you feel like the energy in the, in the group as a whole? I mean, I commented on, on the broadcast that it just seemed to be not the usual energy that the team's sort of been playing with over the last few weeks. I mean, did you feel like it was a little bit down to, to kind of get started and and you know the, the building was also a little bit flat as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I pulled the guys in. You know, having this been my fifth year here. Um, this Christmas period is a bit of a, a danger period, but um, I think we've handled it really well as a team, but pulled the guys in before we warmed up and said, you know, it's really important to get a good warm up um, and get out there and um, play with a lot of energy at the start. And I just, I felt like they, they were on the front foot more than us. And I felt like, you know, they traveled yesterday. Uh, if we could have been on a bit more assertive at the start, um, just with that energy, it would have been different story, you know, we wouldn't have been 24 down, but yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, 21 points in the second half, Abercrombie did a great job on you, and obviously they, they targeted you as a, as a threat in general, and how did you manage to sort of step up and, and get some good looks, and obviously get some incredible shots out of Abercrombie, who's a, a, a tough defender as it was? Yeah, um, credit to my teammates, some great screens, um, great passing, um, and Damien coaching staff got me involved, you know, um, run some plays for me, but um, yeah, I mean, some really good screens, and um, you know, we've been going to whoever's whoever's hot. Jason last game uh, in Melbourne, you know, came out, so we'll try and go to whoever gets on a roll, and then on to the next guy. If it's a big guy, we'll go to him, um, like Tommy in the first half. So we, yeah. we kept going to Tommy, and um, yeah, I think it's a good way to play. And, yeah, it was not the offensive uh, offensive end at all. I mean, how many do we score? 85 is enough to mm. win. Just 97 is, is a yeah. lot of points. So what's your main takeaway from this game and it's a learning point for the squad? Ah, oh, look, it, it, it's a young... I've said this, it's young and, and new. And, uh, you know, we've got to keep refining. But we just didn't do what, what we mm. we hang our hat on. You know, and that's the lesson learned. You know, we got a game in a, in a short after a short break. You can't got to move on. That's the thing about the league, and we have to show Townsville as much respect as anybody. And um, so, 
it's pretty tight, you know, and for us, we've got to hang in there and stay together and be tough. And, uh, and that's very important at this stage of the season. The game, when it was 25 points down, it had the piece of potential to get really ugly. I guess what are your thoughts standing on the way that the team somehow managed to claw its way back into the game to be in the winnable position? Well, you know, there's, the, the lads have already shown there's a fair degree of, of pride um, within. And, uh, you know, we, we don't stop fighting. We will never stop fighting. And um, the, the guys did that. It's now it's fighting with executing. That's that's the thing. Um, so, yeah, look, twenty five was, was starting to look ugly, um, but the guys showed a bit of resolve and and um, you know the, the breakers had a few blokes get hurt and we capitalised on that. You've got a couple of um, couple of first year players as well with uh, obviously Angus Josh. Yes, Cody is relatively new. Uh, Kendrick's in his first year here as well. I guess, um, yes, what are your thoughts on yes, their efforts to help um, uh, chip in, to help out um, Tommy and Madge get back in the game? It's a good question. I, I, we have got a lot of rookies. Um, it, it's the way it went, you know, with, with the late appointment. And, and I, I feel, I believe in my guys. And, uh, you know, it's a learning curve every week. I, I think... You know, for, for fellas like Madge and Tommy, um, you know, it, they're doing a good job at, at leading. Because it's not just uh, new as far as, uh, or experience, it's experience of the league. Like, like Mike, Mike Vicone is one of the, he, he's an international power forward. And, and he was, uh, you know, he made some differences when he came back in. So, you know, for our guys, it's learning about who's who in the league as much as anything. And with um, Josh, I understand he was excluded today. I guess, how likely is he to make the trip to, up to town? To uh, he's likely. You know, it's a day-by-day -day basis. He, he's a good healer. You know, we're not going to do anything reckless as a club. No, we wouldn't do that with any player. Um, um, but he'd be handy. <laughs> how do you think the team coped without him today? And how do you think his absence made itself felt? Ah, oh, look, he, he, he's right up there with, with the MVP candidates. And um, I'll say this about, we, we just keep marching. And, um, and uh, we missed him last week. You know, we, we missed him today. And, um, but we're making a game of it against Melbourne and and we made a game of it, I guess, against New Zealand. You know, we, we, so when he comes back, um, hopefully we go from here to there, and and, and um, hopefully we've got a few wins in our pocket. You know, hopefully he's he's back for the next game.